So this question says, if 7 ninths x minus 4 ninths x minus 1 fourth plus 5 twelfths, what is the value of x? Oh, actually, this looks like there's an equal sign here. It didn't print out too well. Okay. So I'm going to just write that down. So 7 ninths x minus 4 ninths x is equal to 1 fourth plus 5 twelfths. So this is a single line question, um, which falls into my strategy of just simplify, right? So let's just simplify this and see how far we get. So the good thing on the left-hand side is that we already have a common denominator. So 7 ninths x minus 4 ninths x is just 3 ninths x. And again, 3 ninths can be reduced again to 1 third. So really what I have here is 1 third x, right? 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 three times. So 1 third x. On the right-hand side, I do not have a common denominator, but the lowest common denominator for the right side would be 12, which means if I multiply this 1 fourth by 3 over 3, I'd get this to be 3 twelfths plus 5 twelfths. So then 3 twelfths plus 5 twelfths is equal to 8 twelfths. So last step is I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 third on both sides. In doing that, my 3s and 1s cross out, leaving me with just x, right, which is what I want to find. And then here I could cross cancel and say, well, 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 12 four times. Therefore, I'd have 8 times 1, which is just 8, 4 times 1, which is just 4, and 8 over 4 is just 2 over 1, or 2, and therefore my answer is 2. If you're not very familiar with cross-canceling, we could have taken that same information, right, the 8 twelfths times 3 over 1, and just multiplied directly across and ended up with 24 over 12, which again is just 2. So the answer here is 2.